Cheers! Cheers. Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches! Episode 189. Tonight we're reviewing Finding Your Feet. So this just kind of fell into our laps. We didn't really well, hear anything about so, this movie. So yes, we were gonna go see Ready Player One. Uh, f full disclosure, we were gonna go see it, yep. uh, we had a plan, yep. and then Andrew said, oh, it's two hours and 20 minutes long, and I said, you know what? No, I'm I good. I don't want to. So we decided to see a lovely independent uh, hour and a half, maybe hour 40. Hour 40. I was happy with our choice. I was so happy with this choice. So sorry about it. We probably aren't reviewing Ready Player One. Probably not. Just don't care. You were like, you were like, oh, what's this movie with this poster? Oh, it's called Finding Your Feet, and Imelda Stoughton is in it. And I was like, oh, so is it about like a lady having a midlife crisis and finding herself through dance? Guess what it is. <laughs> First things first, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink, trywink.com slash moviebitches. You get $20 off your first month of wine. Also, thank you to our Patreon subscribers. You're getting this early if you subscribe $5 a month or more. So Finding Your Feet is about um, fabulous cunts who live in England and are fabulous. Well, it's like every uh, British actress that you're like, I know her. What's her name? If you mixed the cast of Calendar Girls, <laughs> And best exotic Mary Patel. Patel. It would be basically this movie. And at that, we got a little, got a little oh, okay. thing so in there. So Joanna Lumley is in it, yes. which was one of the key factors in why we chose to see this film. Yes. Well, so was Celia Emery, who... She is definitely oh, on Fabulous Content. Definitely on Fabulous Content. Like, I love her. Love her. And she was in Calendar Girls. She's in Calendar Girls. I know her mostly from Bridget Jones' Diary. She's mm. Bridget's... Mom's best friend, Una. Right, yes. Oh, surely not, Una. You just stir it. <laughs> Come and look at your gravy, Pam. I think it's going to need sieving. Of course it doesn't need sieving. Just stir it, Una. Yes, of course. I'll be right there. Sorry. Lumpy gravy, course. Mini gherkin. You know, like, it's great. Love her. This... Timothy Spall shows up, and I was like, oh, hey, let's have Timothy Spall. Yeah. And Am uh, Imelda Staunton is in it. Yes, and she's actually the lead character. Yeah, and she's also fabulous. It was just like, oh, and her. Oh, oh and her. Oh, and, oh, and her. her. Oh, and she's in it? Oh, and he. Oh, great. What, I think what you know her from. Okay. She's the nurse in Shakespeare in Love. And it's a new day. It is a new day. It is a new world. And she's got the, you know. I've literally only seen Shakespeare in Love once. Oh, I, I wouldn't have guessed that. Right? Would not have guessed that. I know. It's good. I liked it. Oh, man. I was obsessed with that movie. I I also only saw it like 10 years after it won the Oscar. What? Which is why I've only seen it once. What happened? Why I don't know. You see it I don't know why I never... I don't know. I don't know. It seems right up your alley. Right up my alley. And Joseph Fine. Oh, yeah. I mean, at that point in time, I probably didn't realize. You were like, Gwyneth Paltrow. I mean, no. She never did it for me. <laughs> Joseph Fiennes and Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah, they have yeah. the chemistry. It was yeah, cute. Yeah, it was good. Um, so is that, oh, what else is she in? She's in my favorite uh, adaptation of Much Ado. Oh. About Nothing with Kenneth Branagh, which is also fabulous. She's like in Harry Potter. She's like in everything. Yeah, she's in, I but, know I mean, her. You but could I... throw a rock in, at like the British acting troupe and it, they are in Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy Spall is in Harry Potter. Like, oh, there you go. It's like, uh, I think they were, yes, they were in the fourth one. You know, it's like... <laughs> You, you can't... Helen Mirren? No, surprisingly not. She'll probably be in the Fantastic Beast movies. Oh, God. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. If, like, Colin Farrell turns in to Johnny Depp, and then Johnny Depp in the David Lynch wig turns into Helen Mirren. <laughs> I would be here for that. So here for it. I would be here for that. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> you just fixed that movie, and we weren't even talking about it. <laughs> I did. Holy shit! If Colin Farrell had just turned into Helen Mirren, skip Johnny Depp altogether. Yes. But she's wearing the David Lynch wig. Oh yes, I like this a lot. Yeah. So Imelda's character, we, we were introduced. She has this fabulous. Oh, let's have a naughty sherry. And I was like, yes. They're in this big house. And then during that same party. Yes. Spoiler alert: Her husband is cheating on her. <gasps> and has been cheating on her for five years with her friend. <gasps> And so it becomes this whole thing where she's just like, what is my life? And what have I been doing for 35 years? Yes. And what am I doing? So she moves in with her sister. 
Celia Emery. You know, I saw that, I was like, yes, I'm here for that. But then it was a lot less fluffy than I expected. Yes, this was a very uh, dramatic and yet funny, you know, real romantic. Like, it had a lot of things going on. It did. And I was into all of the things that were going on. I fully agree. It was, like, really... Um, well balanced. Very, very. Where nice. it was like very that. It's it was very, very that. Very that. <laughs> very that. It was really real. Like yes. I, I never felt too saccharine or nope. too depressing or too anything. It was kind of just like, well, this is what would have happened. Well, and I thought, oh, it's gonna all culminate to the final big dance right. number where she finds her her voice and oh, she makes it and she's the last minute, you know. Her, uh, her sister couldn't make it, so she's gonna fill in, and I'm the star! You're going out there a nobody, but you're coming back a star! You're going out a youngster, but you've got to come back a star. You know, I thought it was gonna be that. No. It's not that! I mean, it is, but it isn't, right. you know? The dancing is part of it, but it's not, it's not strictly ballroom, you know? Right. It's not, like, that movie or whatever, and it was, it was really nice. I found the romance to be very touching. Yeah. And I was into it. I was like, this movie was more romantic than pretty much any romantic comedy I can think of in the last couple of years. I thought, I got in, I mean, big sick, yes. Sure. But like, I got into their romance. Yeah. I was like, oh, I want them to get together. I exactly. want them to go sail off into the Adriatic and have a fabulous yacht cruise. Ye Did you have questions about how his boat was gonna make it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I let it slide. <laughs> Like it's fine. He's in like a, a, bar. a barge that he's gonna take across the channel. I was concerned. Yeah. This isn't Dunkirk, you know? It's like... You you didn't see Dunkirk, I so I don't know what you're talking about. They took barges and shit. It was like anything that floated. I so got the saying, idea. In an emergency. Exactly. It's okay. Yeah. But just as a... a, like a I was like, oh, we're gonna... Yeah. Choi no? No. Not so much. I was here for it. <laughs> I mean, it was perfectly cute. You know, they were very natural and organic with each other and sort of nerdy and uncomfortable like there was like their flirting was like real flirting like I don't know yes. I really got into it I, I agree. thought they it built and like you could see it I didn't necessarily see it coming at first because he's always hanging out with her sister and yeah. I thought oh so they're gonna fall exactly. in love and, and it'll be with the sister and whatever and da -da -da. not what happened at all and I was like oh how much I didn't see that coming because she's a real bitch at the beginning of the exactly. movie exactly I thought this was really cute. I thought it was really and nice. There was movie. like some like yes, moments. yes, there like, were. Oh, I uh -huh. lovely. You tell him what's up. Like she's just like I'm a fabulous lawyer, and guess what? I wear fabulous clothes, and I was like, yeah, you do. I love it. I love her with gray hair. It looked good. I don't know. I just thought this was a really cute movie. I agree. I fully agree. I would go see it. Definitely. Definitely uh, go see it with your mom on a Sunday after oh, a brunch movie. It is that kind of movie. But it's. Better than that. Yeah, because it's, like it's a, not it's like it's just a tear above. It's not shallow. No. It has a lot of heart. Mm -hmm. But it did the heart well. Mm -hmm. Unlike some of the other movies that we've seen recently that have had a lot of heart, but like as a movie aren't great. This had a heart and was or a good it's movie. like, you know, in Best Exotic, was it the second one yeah, that the Richard Gere is oh, in? Where God. it's just like Richard Gere is hot. You should fall in love with him because he's hot. hot. Isn't he hot for an old guy? Because he's hot. And I was like, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I got more like sexual chemistry from Timothy Spall and Richard Gere? What's happened? Sure. What's going on exactly? That's, yeah. Shocker. Writing. The writing. Character development. Acting. Take, yeah. Taking the time. You know? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. I really like this movie. So I would definitely say go see it. Yeah. It was a, a two hours well spent. Yeah. I said this is exactly what I needed. Thank you. Exactly. And no thank you Steven Spielberg. I'm sorry. I think I might be done. <laughs> I agree. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you.